What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Trevin, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so here we are back into the, the trick house right here. Yes, I have just found out that, yes, we can go in for part two of the trick house situation. So, yeah, we're going to take a small delay and go into the trick house. So let's go right ahead. You're being watched. And as you can see, we found that little shine right there. He's hiding behind that branch, and he's like, Ha, grr! How did you know I could seal myself behind the tree? You're sharp. You, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the skull there and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. And he disappears just like that. So if you guys remember in our first part, we actually went through here and beat it with ease. You know, you needed a cut attack, but now this is round number two right here. And I think... Oh, thank lord. Oh god, okay, so, yeah, I actually thought that we needed Rock Smash. Was completely wrong. Actually, in this one right here, you actually just need to press the buttons in order to get through those holes right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing a lot of battling and all that stuff, so let's go right ahead and battle more people. Uh, let's see. Skyblade, that's right. Oh yeah, Skyblade has been captured two episodes ago. Very good addition to our team. And uh, right now, I'm going to be battling a bunch of trainers with Raiden. And he's like, oh, you're on your second Trick House Challenge? Yes, I am. Let's go. Bring it. So there we go. School Kid Paul wants to battle us. And he's, oh crud. Wanting to battle us with a Numo. Yeah. Should have picked differently. Okay, so let's go to Swamp Lord right here. Because he's probably the only Pokemon that can actually do anything. Swamp Lord looking like a tank. Like a shit brick house right here. So here we go. Water gun attack. Oh, yes. That sounds good. Numel just been defeated right here. Now, I think you can go to the third. I think there's a third. I don't know. I could, I could be wrong. So let's go ahead and switch it up. I'm going to go to Raphael. It's been a while since you've actually defeated anybody, Raphael. By yourself. And you're about to grow to level 23, which is also good. So here we come out with a uh, Oddish, and uh, let's go with that. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Eat it. And Raphael grows to level 23, which is also good. Good for all of us right here. And he's gonna come out with the Wingle. So finally, a Pokemon that Raiden can actually have a good, uh, a good victory against. And uh, alrighty. Well, let's do this. Bring it. Spark. So here we go. Spark attack. There we go. Buh bye Wingle. Buh bye And Raiden, of course, being a cool Pokemon that he is. That's right. That is right. Okay, so that's the end of that one. And, of course, the objective here is to get that scroll right there and actually get to the password. And along the way, you'll actually, um, you know, you'll actually get some items. Mostly mail, that kind of stuff. No rare candies or anything, you know, even though we love rare candies, that, you know, and a lot of Pokemon. So there's another item right that we need, we should retrieve. That's mail, right? Nope, yep, yeah, it's a harbor mail, which we already bought. You can actually buy that at Slateport City, so I don't know why that's there. And, uh, well, that's an easy, well, that is an easy, uh, way to the exit. As you can see, this is the exit right here, and you actually have to... You have to find the password for that one right there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to be battling this guy because the scroll is right around that area. And, okay, so that's the wrong way. But we're still going to battle that guy. Um, you know what? Let's stick by. Let's stick by right here. So there we go. Which which switch close? Or, oh, holy crud. Which switch closes which hole? Wow. Try saying that like 17 times in a row. I know that's probably impossible right there. And here he comes out with a Ralts. Let's go, Raiden. We all know how Ralts does here. Nothing. So we go with a Shockwave attack. Oh, yes. Shockwave does this. Shockwave does it. And uh, we defeated Ted. Not the teddy bear, but Ted. And, uh, okay, so that's that. I guess we have to battle that uh, battle girl right there. I think that's a battle girl or a lass or something. And now we have to go the other way. Oh, God. I can't. Why can't we run? That is beyond me. I don't know. We should be running in here. Uh, okay, so that's the last button. This person wants to battle. You know what? Let's, keep, let's just keep raiding right here. And here we go. 
I want to make my own gym one day, so I'm studying how to set traps. Hmm. Huh. They're called traps. They are traps. So there we go, school kid Gr uh, Georgia coming out with her shroomish, and uh, I picked the wrong Pokemon right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch them up right here. Uh, who is, uh, oh yes, Skyblade. Skyblade won't get poisoned. It's a steel type Pokemon. And uh, there's that Mega Drain. Not very effective. Look at that. Oh man, picking Skyblade was the best idea ever, right? Comment down below. So there we go, Peck Attack. Not that much. And, uh, well, Leech, Leech Seed doesn't do much either. So here we go, Peck Attack again. Say goodbye to Shroomish. That's right. Bye bye, Shroomish. No more of you, and everybody gets experience points. And this guy's coming out with a Beautifly. So let's go and share the wealth right here. Let's go to Raphael. Let's get it, Raphael. That's right. I love it when he turns red. I don't know why he does that. Comment down below. Let me know how that, like, why Pokemon change colors or something like that. Here we go. Ember attack. Easy victory. See what happens when you add a fire type Pokemon and a flying type Pokemon? It's so good. And Raphael gaining points just like that. Alrighty. Okay. So let's move on right here. This is the last button right here in this whole excursion right here now that just uh, it leads us to the scroll right there now again I don't know why we're not running we can't run in here I guess that's probably Japanese custom or you know never run you know the politeness of Japanese people you know that kind of stuff and here we found a scroll which is great now we memorized it now it is time to get the heck out of here and go straight to the door the leads to our, our whole thing now I gotta be honest it's a little disappointing that we finish this place quickly so we wrote down the code and he's like trick master is smart not really it's not that smart all right so let's go ahead and talk to this guy ah you've made it to me hmm you're sharp it took me all night to make that maze you're almost my equal in greatness by one two three four five places fine you have earned this reward, and we get ourselves a timer ball, which you can actually get over at Rust Bros City now. Scrub that smirk smirk off your face, or from your face. It's too much early, or it's much too early to, thi to think that you've won. I'll make new tricks to stump you, I will make you, or I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment. And he just disappears just like that. Okay, alright, okay. So that's pretty much it. I kind of have a feeling that, you know that we are eligible for another experiment, but I'm pretty sure we're not. So we're just gonna leave it at that and just wait for the next uh, installment of that whole, the whole, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, 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 whatchamacallit, the trick, trick master's house. You know, I'm trying to think right here, guys. All right, so we're gonna go back up to Mauville City because now it is finally time to head on over to Mount Chimney. Yeah, that that's, I did say that we were going to take a little bit of a side quest right here. One or two side quests. And I did switch back to the acro bike because, you know, going into Mount Chimney, I think you will be needing the acro bike and all that. So let's go right here and uh, go all the way back up to where, like, we were. And luckily, Torkoal is the only Pokemon that knows uh, Rock Smash, and I guess it's a very fine addition to it. And here we are making our travels all the way right back Right, route back to Route 111 and break this boulder right here. Raphael does his thing. Look at that. And we get attacked by a Pokemon. Awesome. Just awesome. And would you look at that? It's another Geodude. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to battle you. I don't want to take on you right now. Okay, so let's go back up to Mount Chimney right here. Make our travels, you know, well worth the wait and all that stuff. And I don't know why I did that. I messed up. So, here we are, guys, in front of Mount Chimney. Stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be finding out what's going up in Mount Chimney. You know, see if we can actually stop what's ever going on over there. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.